Alrighty, this is my 2024 presidential election prediction between former President Donald Trump and the current Vice President Kamala Harris. So let's get right into this scenario. I'll set up the safe states. Okay, everything's all set up for this scenario. Let's get right into it. So, the first two states I'll get right out of the way at first is Iowa and Ohio. They're pretty similar, so I'm just going to tackle them both at the same time. I feel like Kamala Harris is not as strong as Joe Biden, especially in these states. And I feel like even though Trump's base is slightly eroding... He'll be able to keep it in the likely margin and might expand on his old margin he had in the 2020 election. So we'll see if it's this scenario in the future. The next state would be Texas. I would put this as about a lean margin for Trump. I feel like Texas will still get more Democratic from the 2020 election. The next state I would do would be New Hampshire. It would be a lean margin. I feel like Kamala Harris's unpopularity compared to Joe Biden, she would actually lose a bit of Joe Biden's win he had in 2020, especially in New Hampshire. I feel like she's a weaker candidate in this area, in the New England area. And I would put the same for Maine. I would put it as a lean margin against Trump, and I'll give Trump main second district. I feel like his base would remain intact here. Next state would be Minnesota. I would do it as a lean margin. I feel like Kamala Harris will slightly lose a bit of Joe Biden's base, especially in this state, and in the Rust Belt overall. Next state I would do would be Florida. I would categorize that as a lean margin. I don't think it would go into likely, not for Trump in this scenario. I feel like Kamala Harris will have the same struggles as Joe Biden had here in gathering Latino voters in the Miami-Dade area. I feel like that would continue. But I feel like it would roughly stay around the same margin as it was in 2020, like around a three-point lead for Trump in the state. Next date, North Carolina. I'd categorize that as a lean margin. I don't think it'll be tilt. I think Trump could expand on his margin here compared to the 2020 election against Kamala Harris. Next state would be Michigan. I would give it as a tilt margin in this scenario. I feel like Michigan will be razor thin if it was Trump versus Harris. I feel like Harris has a lot of the same problems Hillary Clinton had, especially in this state. She would suffer the same problems. Wisconsin would be a tilt margin. I feel like Trump could... Uh, definitely do better here compared to the 2020 election. I feel like you could get it into this tilt margin. Wisconsin's a very close state and Harris, I don't think, is the type to win this state. Another state would be, would be Pennsylvania. I actually think Trump would win Pennsylvania against Kamala Harris in this scenario. I feel like Harris has really bad problems, especially in this Midwest Rust Belt region. I feel like she would suffer from her connections, not with like populist voters or anything. I feel like she couldn't connect to them as much as Biden did and flipping some in those rural areas. Rasta second, I still think Kamala Harris will win this, but it'll be on a lean margin, not a likely margin as like Joe Biden won it. Georgia, however, that would be a tilt margin from Kamala Harris. The Atlanta suburbs will get her the win here, and the Georgia's becoming more and more Democratic every election. I feel like it would still hold, even for Harris. New Mexico would be a likely state for Harris. I feel like Trump could get it below a 10-point lead for Harris in New Mexico, but I don't think he can make it any more competitive than that. Nevada, pretty much the same story. Lean margin. I feel like Nevada will always be pretty much won by, like, 
two to three points for the Democratic nominee going forward each election. There would be no difference in that. And then we finally get down to Arizona. The election could go either way here. And I really feel that Harris will win Arizona against Trump only because Trump attacked McCain so viciously in the past, and Arizonans, especially moderate Republicans, will remember that. In fact, a lot of moderate Republicans actually switched to the Democratic Party. So the Arizona Democratic Party is growing in the state, and that will only help the Democrats' margins going forward in the state. So that's the end of the prediction. I feel like Harris would narrowly edge out Donald Trump, but Trump could still win in this scenario. It's possible. But as of right now, I would predict uh, Harris has a 10 electoral vote victory. Thank you guys for watching, and comment, like, and subscribe.